Hello students, welcome to iExambi. In this video, we'll be discussing some points which will be helpful in your preparation for general awareness section in your last 10 to 15 days before you take BOI credit officer exam which is going to be held on 6th of December. So let's get started. So friends, I'm not going much in detail about the eligibility criteria and all those things which were included in the notification. If you want to go through the detailed notification, the link for the same will be shared in the description box. So here focusing upon the general awareness, if you see, they have especially mentioned with a special reference to banking industry, which is also expected since you are applying for the post of credit officer, you must be aware of the banking industry so the marks allotted is 50, there is no sectional time, there is composite time of 150 minutes. So if you are well prepared with these sections, you will be able to score good marks because here you do not have to solve anything, but it's completely based on your memory skills and your preparation. Now let's see what was the last year pattern. So if you see, we have provided a previous year question breakup. So 40% of the questions which were asked in the general awareness section were from current affairs and 60% was from banking awareness as they have especially mentioned also in their notification a special focus would be on the banking awareness. So let's see what all topics are covered under these sections. So one thing you have to understand guys is that general awareness syllabus is vast, it's infinite. You cannot cover all of that. Now, all those students who had already started preparing for the same, it's good that you will be able to cover most of the topics. But those who have started the preparation in recent few days, here are the important topics which would help you to cover the most part of the general awareness sections. So here general awareness would be divided into two. One would be the current affairs and the one would be banking awareness. So talking about the current affairs, Topics such as schemes which were covered in the last six months would be included here. All the awards which were given in the recent months like the Indira Gandhi Peace Award was given would be included here. The sports related news like they can ask who won the US Open 2020 that can be asked in your sports related news. National international related news, important days news and their themes which was in the news in recent months so they can ask you when was the international girl child celebrated so it was celebrated on 11th of october all the books and authors which were in news like recently barack obama's book a promised land was published in the month of november that could be asked all the dams national parks the gi tags which were in news in the past four to eight months can be asked under this section so we have seen the important topics under current affairs. Let's see what are the important topics under banking related news. So under banking awareness, the basic banking sector terminologies like what is CASA, IMPS, RTGS, all those things can be asked. The key announcement which was made by RBI or Government of India, the recent appointments which have been made, like you know, Deputy Government of RBI has been appointed recently, Mr. Rajeshwar Rao, all that can be asked. Bank related news, all the new loans which have been given or recently like RBI has launched the positive pay system for the check clearing process which will be applicable in 2021. So all those news can be covered under here. Various acts related to banking like the Negotiable Instrument Act which is called NI Act, the RBI Act, you have to be well versed with those as well. The important committees, their chairmen, the monetary policy related terms like repo rate, CRR, SLR, reverse repo, all that you have to cover under this banking awareness. So guys, we have seen the important topics under both these sections. So let's see how to go with the preparation. So my suggestion to you is follow our monthly BPDA, which is published by iExambi on our site. There is also weekly BPDA, but since there are very few days left for the exam, I would recommend you to go rather for the monthly BPDA. If you can go more than six months, it's very good. Otherwise, at least for three or four months, you must go. See, it's not only important to read the content, but it's also important how much you can retain and remember for your exam. So let me quickly take you through how to download this monthly BPDA, which is absolutely free. So you have to visit our site, iExambi.com. There in the right corner, you will see general awareness section. You have to click here, BPDA. Once you click here, this page will open. 
Now you can see here are weekly BPDA as well. But since there is shortage of time, you better go for the monthly BPDA. Here it's for October. Similarly, for every month it's there. It's for September as well. Once you click here, you will be taken to this page. Now see, there are various topics under this. You have to be very selective in this since you do not have much time. So you can cover topics like finance banking, economy, books, awards and rewards, appointments. All these are important ones for you. You can skip topics like science, technology, agriculture, rural development. Those are not for you. So be very selective in what you read. Now we have seen the monthly BPDA. Now next point would be go through the summary document of schemes, reports, appointment, committees. Here you can see in the monthly BPDA you can uh, find the similar content. Here you have some schemes also there is learn along column. So extra information about the SBI card or master card where is the headquarter who is the MD, CEO, chairperson all those have been mentioned as well. So you have to go through that as well. Also please practice the mock test. So mock test would help you actually judge where your knowledge lies. Even if you are not able to answer it correctly, you can see the correct answers and that would enhance your knowledge. So friends, we have seen how to go with the preparation. What are the important topics? Let's see what kind of questions can be asked in your exam. So friends, I've taken very few questions just to give you an idea. So the question says what percentage of its credit is a regional rural bank required to extend under priority sector lending. So as you know banks have to lend a portion of their credit to the priority sector like agriculture, micro small enterprises, uh, weaker sections for housing education purpose. So the answer would be 75% here the detail has been given. So one thing you have to notice is you have to see the full form as well as you have to focus on the abbreviation as well. So if it's asked what does ANBC stand for you should know that it stands for adjusted net bank credit. Now let's see the other question. It says which small finance bank became sponsor bank for Ashok Nagar Cooperative Bank Limited. So the answer would be Jan small finance bank. So the Jan small finance bank partnered with Ashok Nagar Cooperative Bank and it has become the first small finance bank to go live under the sponsorship program. So the detail has been written. You have to go through them as well. So the next question can be based on authors and books. The question says who has written the book Portraits of Power. So it has been written by Mr. N.K. Singh, Nand Kishore Singh. He is serving as the chairman of 15th Finance Commission. Before coming into Rajya Sabha, he was an IS officer. It's an autobiography of him where he has discussed all his personal and national movements that happened in his life. So you have to make sure you go with the answer as well. You read the description so that you get a better idea. So friends, this is the way you can go through the preparation. You might have some other resource apart from the BPDA. You are free to follow that as well. The ultimate goal should be to clear this exam. Friends, if you are preparing for some other banking exams like IBPS PO clerical or SBI PO clerical, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel Bank B where you will get all the strategy tips for the banking exams. Also, we are going to soon launch our SSC B channel for SSC and railway exams. So stay tuned. So keep preparing guys. All the best for your exams and thanks for watching the video.